Even if you have absolutely no intention at all of buying this phone, keep watching this video because right now this is the most powerful phone you can buy. This is the new iQ 11 and it's the first phone to launch, or at least for me to get my hands on, with the brand spanking new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. That's the new flagship processor that Qualcomm showed off just a few weeks ago in Hawaii at their Snapdragon Summit. The next generation of smartphones is here. This is the iQ 11 powered by the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which does deliver some big improvements over the previous generation of chipset. A fresh new flagship smartphone and the very first Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 handset that I've had my greasy, well calloused hands all over. And going off of this absolute beauty, I gotta say, I'm very much looking forward to reviewing a shag load more 8 Gen 2 blowers in the coming months. And this is actually one of the first batch of smartphones that's rocking the brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform. I was actually just out in Hawaii for Snapdragon's conference. The fact that they have the latest and greatest inside is a really good sign. And in turn, that performance is kind of unreal. So Aiku has managed to bring some fresh, cutting edge features here, including Qualcomm's latest and greatest chipset. The iQ 11 is actually the first phone we've encountered running on the new top Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It boasts up to 35% better performance and improved efficiency of the CPU compared to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Look at the difference here between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the Exynos 2200 compared to this now. That's a huge leap in performance. I think the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is actually doing quite a decent job here by giving us maximum performance with minimal heat. The 8 Gen 2 has set my new record. The iQ 11 is now standing at the top of the heap for this very CPU-bound task. The benchmark game to get Genshin Impact, which this phone absolutely crushed, super smooth frame rates, and it was one of the best gaming experiences that I had. We're in for a treat this year. Qualcomm has definitely shown some wonderful evolution between these three chipsets. The 9 Pro starting us off with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the 9T stepping up to the 8 Plus Gen 1, and now here we are properly running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the iQ 11. When Qualcomm is saying, hey, we've got like a 30% uptick to performance, that's panning out in these synthetic benchmarks. Beyond just CPU and GPU power, the entire SOC contributes to a real world app performance. I think it's fun to illustrate these differences by looking at a couple different phones. And this is one of the areas Google has no answer to this type of graphics processing. It's my random guess, my unlearned hypothesis that this generation of chip will likely hang with iPhones in performance per watt. And we might see some victories on the Qualcomm side, depending on which games are being tested. So let's not keep regurgitating Apple marketing slides touting performance dominance for iPhones. And the experience is gonna be very snappy, very quick. Everything's fluid, everything just loads up instantly. Thanks to the chipset. I gotta tell you, I'm so excited for this year and getting to play with this. The iQ is the real deal. It's crazy powerful and works in a better battery draw and thermal envelope than the 8 Gen 1 or the 8 Plus Gen 1. Overall, nice phone here from iQ and I'm looking forward to seeing newer models from them and more, of course, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile phones. It's been perfect for gaming, thus giving me even less excuse when I'm getting my nuts blasted off by school kids in Call of Duty or by enormous f***ing dragon things in Genshin Impact. And that's all thanks to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which is stuffed inside of the iQ 11, one of the very first smartphones to come launching with this microprocessor, which is absolutely packed to the armpits with clever bollocks tech. <laughs> this microprocessor, which is absolutely packed to the armpits with clever bollocks tech, tech, tech.